Welcome to LT Legends, where we explore the lives, accomplishments, and contributions of influential learning technologists. I'm your host, Nikki. Today we dive into the life of Gordon Pask, inventor of conversation theory. Pask was born on June 29, 1928 in Derby, United Kingdom. He was a sickly child and was told he would not make it to adulthood, but lived until the age of 67. His life was dedicated to the exploration of cybernetics and conversation, and how those factors play into learning. His educational journey was extensive. He attended multiple higher education institutions, including Rydell School in North Wales, Bangor Technical College, where he studied geology, Liverpool Polytechnic College, where he studied mining engineering, and Downing College in Cambridge, where he studied medicine, but graduated with a natural science degree instead. He went on to lead a life of discovery and innovation. In 1953, he founded System Research Limited, where he directed research in skill acquisition, group learning, learning styles and strategies, knowledge and task analysis, design processes, decision making, problem solving, and learning how to learn. He received funding from multiple sources, including the U.S. Air Force, the United Kingdom Ministry of Defense, Department of Employment, and the Social Science Research Council. He produced many electrical, mechanical, chemical, and biological computers, and even his hobbies led him to the development of computers. He had a fascination with theater, where he spent time designing and painting stage sets. This fascination extended further and fueled his development of a computer in 1953 named Music Color. Music Color was an adaptive machine which transformed live music into projected light. The computer caused the stage lights to change their behavior when the music was too monotonous, as well as adapted the lights based on the performance on stage. His development of computers did not end with Music Color. It only increased when he started to explore learning in 1956. He developed another computer in 1956 named Saki, which was designed as a teaching system in which a learner would play with an adaptive keyboard that taught the learner how to operate a data processing key puncher. His goal was to reproduce intelligent behavior, which he believed to be fueled by interaction. He continued to create adaptive teaching and learning machines, such as the Eucrates in 1961, which employed a student part being taught by a teacher part. The panel had knobs to control the student's degree of persistence as the labels indicated. His development of learning computers directly addressed the challenge of keeping a student's interest. This challenge was common amongst automated teaching. He approached building teaching machines that could create dynamic models based on the probability of how a particular person would approach a problem. His machines would not force a learner to perform in a particular way and were not correction focused, but rather the machines provided the opportunity to maximize growth and allow learners to build their own preferred methods. He asserted that, by adapting the task on the basis of a dynamic prob probabilistic model of the operator, his learning machines could teach in a way that responded to students' non-stationary individual characteristics and hold their interests. Many of his inventions were used as a fundamental basis for other technologies. Furthermore, and most notably, he authored the conversation theory. The conversation theory asserted that learning occurs through conversations that happen both verbally and non-verbally. He believed that learning also occurred within our environment, how we act, react, and think. He felt that the way we sense our surroundings contribute to how we build knowledge and make meaning, which also include the quote-unquote conversations we have with information we read, see, and interact with. One very important aspect of conversation theory is the idea of teachback, in which one person teaches another what they know and have learned. Through this conversation, both members learn more about the topic and develop a shared understanding and meaning of that topic. Conversation theory, in its essence, says that we learn what we learn through the interactions we construct. Pask's work continued, and he built other learning machines like CAST in 1972, which was a system that learned about a student's preferred learning strategy through observation and engagement in a dialogue about their learning. CAST also allowed learners to work through complex content through a tutorial-based environment. He went on to invent Thought Sticker in 1974, which helped students map their ideas and suggested novel combinations and perspectives. Though PASC's influence is not explicitly known, many of his thoughts, assertions, and work in technology and computers can be seen mirrored in the growth of technology in the last 50 years and his contributions continue to be assimilated into psychology, educational technology, cybernetics, and system science, which constitutes him as an LT legend. I want to thank you 
for sticking around to learn a little bit more about Gordon Pask. And always, before we go, let's share the question of the legend. What learning theories do you see implemented and communicated in Pask's work? Please share your thoughts on my Gordon Pask blog on the LT Legends podcast website. Until next time, this is Nikki. Good night.